I've been studying government programs for 48 years, <laughs> maybe 49 soon, I don't know. Lost track a long time ago. Uh, but I always, what really shocked me, see, I started studying these programs oh, you know, 48 years ago, and I, would, I did this by working for rich people. When I had this uh, you know, fancy office down on K Street where all the bandits are <laughs> located, and, and I would help Fortune 500 companies and rich people get billions and billions of dollars. I mean, what I see the government does is, is make makes billionaires out of millionaires. I mean, look at over the even recent history. Now, Donald Trump, now he made his first million dollars you know, with, with a government property in Cincinnati. And his father did the same thing using government grants and government programs <laughs> to build a big business. Yeah, And he still does it, man. <laughs> All kinds of programs. So look at, uh, you know, uh, what <laughs> Amazon, okay? So that guy, look at what he's got, 6.4 billion dollars you know that's amazing you know what he's able to get you know and that's why when he goes and builds a warehouse the government gives him money to build a warehouse like when he went to uh, virginia to put up a new um you know, office, a, a big headquarters. I mean, they gave him hundreds of billions of dollars to do that. And he does it every day, every place he's using. He's always getting money from the government. I mean, they're not stupid, you know, <laughs> because most of the programs have no income requirements at all. Well, here's another thing, uh, federal procurement. See, that's how a lot of rich people get money from the government is through contracts, you know, and, and now, that small businesses, entrepreneurs could get government contracts also. Now there's about $700 billion, you know, and about 20% of that goes to small business and set aside for people, you know, veterans or low income, uh, women entrepreneurs, stuff like that. And there's special programs that only they could get it. And they could also get subcontracts. I mean, the, and the government buys anything. I mean, hot dogs, if you want, <laughs> or food services, janitorial work, landscaping work, <laughs> website development, massage therapy. I even see they gave uh, a couple thousand dollars to a freelance priest. And I, I gave a speech of a woman's prison <laughs> uh, up in Connecticut a couple of years back. And, and a woman in the audience said, yeah, I made tons of dough. She was cutting lawns for the government. Wow, see, anybody could do that. Uh, and service businesses, making pasta or, or building an idea uh, to get them. But see, people are afraid because they don't know how to contact the, business, the government or anything. And that, you don't have to worry about that. So you have to do that to get these contracts, even as an individual, you could be a freelance writer and make 50 grand a year off your kitchen table. <laughs> That's all you need for a freelance writer and your PC. One place to go is sba.gov, okay? And put in local assistance. And then you'll just put in your zip code and you'll find out all the local offices that are just there to help you find government money for your business, no matter what the hell you wanna do. Another thing to do, people who know government money uh, for businesses is eda.gov. You go there and you look under the resources and what you wanna look for are economic development directory. Economic development means the government wants to create jobs. So if you wanna start a business, then you'll help them create jobs and they have money for that. The other thing, now this is neat if you wanna get government contracts, this is called PTAC, A-P-T-A-C, dash US dot org. And they have offices all over the country. These are free consultants that will sit down with you and help you figure out how to get a company, uh, government contract, no matter how old, rich, poor you are, or anything. That's their job. If you Google something like that, help for government contract, people are gonna charge you thousands of dollars to do that. No, these people already got paid by the government to get you the, uh, where you need to go. And, and that's what everybody, H. Ross Perot is a zillionaire, you know, because he was getting government contracts <laughs> <laughs> like nobody's business. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, the fellow started Federal Express. He started with government money, men or money, venture capital money, the same way Microsoft did and everything. All these people, they're not stupid. And that's why I see so many programs, you know, uh, rich people get grants to pay for living expenses too. Grants to pay for their mortgage, grants to pay for their health care or whatever. Millionaires get that. <laughs> and even you could be a millionaire and get Social Security. So everybody knows that. 
You know, you can be a millionaire and get unemployment. <laughs> That's what's crazy about this. So what I try to do is teach the average person, you know, about the programs to do this. So if you want us to uh, get money for your business or your career and things like that and start a, uh, you know, freelance business at home, then go to those uh, sources I mentioned. If it's for living expenses for you, you start by going to findhelp.org. Put in your zip code and then let's see, 20009, and then look for the offices that get, all get government funding to give you grants to live, looking for food, for housing, for goods, for transit, for healthcare, money for financial assistance, care, education, work, and even legal. It's legal, all this stuff. <laughs> May not be moral, but it's legal. That's what counts in America. As long as it's legal, <laughs> nobody cares. <laughs> That's what we're trying to do is teach people. Man, why are these programs only being used for millionaires to become billionaires when it's for everybody? And that's what I'm trying to do is teach people in America that these programs are for everybody, not just for the people who don't need money. We're the people who really need money. They're the people who should be using this. Let me help you. We give you unlimited personal help to apply for every program there is in the government or out of the government from nonprofit organizations, but not the stuff you'll find in Google. <laughs> and that's the important thing. We also give our own grants and we have a new Valentine grant we're starting uh, that the deadline is on the 14th is Valentine's Day. And so we're giving out an extra $20,000. We normally give out like $75,000 every month. This month we're giving out $95,000. I can't believe it. We're, we, we don't even make much more than that, but we've been so profitable that uh, we want to give our profits back to members. And so we're giving an extra $20,000 this month just because you remember. You should get the money, not me. I'm happy as a pig and shit. <laughs> I love what I do every day. And you need the money more than I do. So we give it back to you. Thank you for giving me a chance to help you.